Hey there TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with rhinestoneworld.com. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use our TRW 3020 letter split true type font. So you can see here we have a sample of it just down in a mason jar. You can use it on a shirt, a onesie, a bag, a, whatever you want. So I'm going to show you how easy it is when you have a true type font like this to be able to create a pretty unique design quickly. Okay, so if I just delete this here. And I'm going to create that same one that we had right there. So I'm just going to do a lowercase v. And I'm going to come over here to my fonts and say you purchase this TRW3020 letter font. There's my v right there. So you can see it has an a, a b. You just type them out and then you can size it to whatever you want. So let's say I want to put this onto a, um, let's do one for my daughter real quick. I'm going to do an m. And I'm going to type out Madison inside it. And we'll put it on a little girl's shirt. So I'm going to go shrink it down a little bit. Let's say maybe 8 inches wide. Maybe 7.5 for a youth shirt. And then I'm just going to convert it to curves. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is use any font that I want. So I'm going to type out her name. Madison. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to use this androgen font that I like a lot. And I'm going to throw this in the middle of it here. And then I'm going to hit shift and click on the M and then the letter C. And then that's going to center it. But the problem with centering that is because of these little swirls that the M has on it. So I'm going to kind of manually center this one just because centering it off the design is going to be a little bit off. Now let's say I wanted to use some glitter colors. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, the Madison right there does have some overlaps in it. So one thing I do need to do real quick is weld those together. And then now that those are welded together, I can change my colors around. So in the wizard here, I can go to my magic vinyl and let's say we wanted to put this on a white shirt. We wanted to use some pink glitter vinyl and maybe some purple glitter or some lavender. So any different colors of glitter vinyl that you want to use, maybe even the black glitter vinyl looks pretty awesome for the Madison part there. Highlight my design, I'm 7.6 by 6.5, pretty good size. I can come over here to my mock-ups, I can go to my youth shirts, and I have my youth girls front design right here. I can come over and click on that one, and that's going to run through it real quick. And I want this background color to be white, I can just change it. And there you go, you got yourself a custom shirt for Madison in literally probably under a minute to create something like that quickly. So what you can also do is you can use these for car decals for the back window of a car. So let's just say, for example, we want it all to be white intermediate sign vinyl. And then I'm going to shrink this design down to about a 4.5 by 5.2 inch design. I'm going to come over here to my mockups, go to accessories, and click on the car window decal right here. And then it's going to drop it perfectly on the back window of a car. So any different places that you want to put something like this, you can easily do that in the wizard here to be able to customize anything you want. So one other thing we can do, if I go back to my page one, now it's white, so you can't see it right now. But I can also change it out for something like that mason jar so watch i know that the mason jar size and width is about three inches so let's shrink this down to about 2.9 2.8 range in there and i'm going to do let's say we want to use some of our fdc glitter sign vinyl so i could still use this black glitter here and then i want to use some of the pink fdc glitter sign vinyl highlight my design go to my mockups. I added the custom mockup right here for that mason jar. So I can click on that. It's going to run through it. And again, we want this background color right here to be white like the mason jar. And you can see how awesome that looks on it. So very, very easy to use this true type font like this because you can just type out any letter and then get anything inside. Now, one thing that's also cool is say, for example, you wanted Madison to be a little bit wider. OK, so if we double click on the black part there, you're going to see all the nodes that you can edit. Highlight the bottom half of the design and then just drag it down a little bit and you can separate that M a little bit more if you want to get the Madison in there a little bit bigger. So pretty cool how you can even customize 
everything with the font like that once you convert it to curves to get the letters a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, a little bit wider. So you can get pretty creative with a font like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. If you do have any questions, you can visit our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. Everything you saw here is available on our website at therhinestoneworld.com. And I did provide a link to this TrueType font right below the video so you can easily access it on our website as well. So if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with therhinestoneworld.com. And you guys all have a great day.